Welcome to this video on margin settings in Microsoft Word. So like me, you may have a Word document with some text on it. And when you've gone into it and opened a Word document from scratch, it could have quite big margins. And by that, I mean the white space around the outside that you can see at the top on the left and the right. So the margin settings will default to the standard ones or if you're using a custom template maybe you've got a corporate template then they will be set for your company's branding and things so you may not want to change those but like me if you're just creating a random document here i can go in there and i can update the margins so that i've got more space for my content and it looks a little bit nicer and it's entirely up to you how you want to do it but if you do want to change the margins in microsoft word you're going to go into the ribbon at the top and select the layout option. And then right there on the left hand side, you have margins. And if I click on that drop down, you'll see I've got a last custom setting there. I've got normal, which is what I'm currently sat on. It's in blue, you can see it there. I've got narrow, moderate, and wide, and mirrored if I'm creating a document that's going to be printed out and I want a mirrored margin in there. So you can see a bit of a preview of those and some information about those margin settings. So I'm just going to click on narrow and you can see there that it's taken away a lot of that white space and I've got more space on my page now to fill in my words, my pictures, my tables, anything else I need to do. And obviously I can go in and just change that as I need to. And if I go wide, you can see there's lots of space around the outside. So it really just depends on what document type you're creating, what branding rules you're dealing with and things like that. What you'll also see in the margins is custom margins at the bottom. So if you go into there, you can actually choose because those ones that we saw before are preset margins. I'm just gonna bring that down so it's in the recording screen. And it will remember the one you've just selected, but you can go in here and over type or use the arrows to pop something in. So I'm just going to go 1.5, tab and 1.5, 1.5. Um, let's go free on the right just to be really different. And if you need to use a gutter, then you've got the gutter option in there. Got a gutter position on the left if you're going to be doing all that and thinking about how the gutter is when you're printing something professionally. And you can obviously see you've got multiple pages there if you are creating a document that's going to be printed like a booklet or a guide or a brochure or something. And you can also apply this to the whole document or just this point forward because you can have different margin settings for different parts of your document. So if I click on OK, you're going to see there, remember I had a thicker margin on the right hand side. So it just looks slightly different there. But if I do want to go back and click on the margins and go into normal, it will just take me back to those normal margins. But I can go in, I can play around with it, see what works best, and then go back to the default option if I need to. So some super quick things you can do there to change the look and feel of your documents. Obviously pick whichever one works best for your type of document and make sure you take into account branding rules and things like that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.